This anime I have encountered when I did some searching on my Netflix. When I look at it, it seems something I would like to watch. After seeing it, it's an average fan service anime that I wish to explore on what it's going for. So let's see how it goes, shall we? The story follows three sisters, I, me, and Mai, and their servant Maya, who are magical girls on a quest for something. Yes, that is all I'm gonna say, and I thought it would be longer to tell the story up to speed. Now, when it comes to the plot, I have no idea on what it's trying to do or what the goal is. It did make one thing clear that they are looking for something, and they did show what they are looking for, but it's never much explained. Plus, I feel that it never reached the potential of what the story could get. Time travel with three girls should lead to the most interesting things that anime's ever come up. And yes, I say that, but however, no matter if it is a cast of girls that are fan service affair, it could still get a good story. But that is what I get when I raise my hopes up. You know what's odd? The game that is based on had a much more interesting story with the main character Chris joining these girls in these adventures, even if it is hentai. Yeah, I know. I feel like the story would have been better if it had two seasons. One thing I do have to compliment is the drama is very interesting throughout. So the story is not all bad. I like how they go through different places in time and only to find that they have to someday leave it and it might yell to some bad results. It makes it very engaging to see how the girls deal with it. Plus when they reach their gold, it's one very heartwarming moment that might be worth sitting through the entire episodes alone. So overall the story, while not as deep and interesting and the fact that it doesn't explain well what they're doing much, the drama and the backstory really what kept me going. Art! Now whoever does the art here must be a hentai artist as I see Boops, boobs, 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 like the boobs. Trust me, the fan service is up through the roof in this one, and it pisses me off that the lolly is here as well. Damn, do I hate it when they do that. But with the exception of the lolly, the fan service is done very tastily as it actually shows the boobs this time. That's something I don't get in most animes as they censor them, but then again, it's a bit overdosed, which is just more annoying. As for the rest, it's average as it's pastel colors and it looks very pretty, but that's about it. When it comes to the movements, it's pretty generic. Even the fight scene is average. I'm so much faster than you, it must be intimidating. So overall, the art is just decent at best. Music! Now, when it comes to the score, it's pretty decent. When it comes to the background music, it matches the scenes and it doesn't feel or sound too distracting. The opening theme... Oh god, the opening theme! It's one of the catchiest songs I have ever heard in a while, and I can't get it out of my head! It has the right tunes and lyrics, if you understand them at all, that is to get them in your openings of all times lists. The ending theme is also nice and soothing, so it gets my recommendation. So overall, the music score is decent with a great op and good ending song. English dub versus English subs. When it comes to the voice acting, both sides don't really stand out. The subs is what you expect, but they did their roles well. But I really don't like how moe they can get, especially when me talks. God damn! 
damn do I hate her voice! Plus, not to mention it's just a way to get the pedals into watching this. Ugh. The English dub is okay as they are not that outstanding either, so it's the same boat. They are all very dry to be honest, but improved a bit at least in the later episodes. My, please cheer up. So, this isn't the right spot. I guess she must have flown off somewhere else. Ah, uh, yes, but now we've seen her face, her hair, her clothes. Now we know exactly what she looks like. That'll help out a lot. But, but unfortunately, Mii's voice is annoying here as well. I really hate voices like these as they never sound like kids, but more on the adult side. I will always hate these kinds of voices for characters that doesn't have much personality, whether it's both Japanese or English. Yes, I think it's a bad way of voicing any little kid. So overall, it's a tie. You could go either way. So it's your choice here. CHARACTERS! Now, the characters are your basic affair of stereotypes that you've seen in many animes that focus on an all-girl cast. You got your blankness, the hyper-interactive one, the soft but ditzy one, and your tomboy. Pretty much these characters are easy to get fan service out of and I can't stand LOL! Forget it! I'll save that for another day. Now, the characters go through very simple development, but it's done really well here. Throughout their travels, they meet new people and make some bonds along the way, but they face the hardships on how hard it is to leave that person. It's something I wish the show could go longer for, as this right here would have been a great 24 episode series. But that's not the only part of the issue I have. The biggest issue I have is that we never got much of what the characters' backstories. We have no idea what these characters are and how they became the characters from today. It feels like I'm following strangers. It would have been so nice to know how they got their powers. It just raises a bunch of questions that I wish they could go into as that alone would warrant a longer series. I wonder if the game explained this, but then again I wouldn't play it because it's a hentai game and it has lollicons and I avoid hentai like that like the plague. But then I asked, why didn't the writers chose to write episodes to tell a bit of what they are supposed to be? That is really disappointing. So overall, the characters are okay at best, and it would have been great if they had more development and screen time. I could say that my enjoyment for this series is decent. It would have been so much higher if it had some things that I liked, but didn't do much with them. This is another anime that didn't have enough episodes to tell a story, which pretty much falls under the biggest sins in anime adaptions of video games. Too. Damn. Short. <sighs> but for what I got, I say it's worthy of a watch at least. So I recommend it, but don't expect this to be a great of a show. Which is why with all the scores combined, it equals to a whole number of... 3 out of 5. Good! Well, this is the Anime Wolf Gamer here, and I hope the next day will be even better. Next will be the Top 10 Best Episodes of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 1. So expect that coming soon. Good.